The following is for 2010 Math 227 Test 2. In this video, I will do number 2 A, B, and C. Question number 2. Lengths of tuna processed by a cannery are normally distributed with a mean of 24.5 inches and standard deviation of 5.25 inches. Now, part A. What percentages of the tuna are longer than 22.40 inches? Now, let's define a random variable first. Uh, let x be the length of a tuna. Okay, now according to the information given, this x then normally distributed with mean 24.5 and standard deviation 5.25. Now, because this is a position for variance, I put a square there. Okay, now the question here is find the probability that uh, or percentage or proportion that this length of tuna will be longer than 22.40 inches. Now the first thing I do, I will standardize this probability of x minus mu over sigma is greater than 22.4 minus 24.5 over the fair, uh, standard deviation is 5.25. Okay, then this becomes the probability of z is greater than, let me use my calculator to compute that. That will be 22.4 position is tough minus 24.5 that's negative 2.1 divided by 5.25 that's negative 0 0.4 okay now then uh, this is equals to, if you think about this this is let's say this is the distribution normal distribution uh, the c here is greater than negative 0 0.4 but it refers to the area to the right right i need the area to the uh, left so that i can use the table this will be one minus uh, probability that c is less than uh, negative 0 0.4 one minus then now i see the table If I could uh, look at the table, I need to get area 0 point, negative 0 0.4. The area to the left of that is negative, uh, is 0 0.3446. Okay, this is the area to the left of, if you look, look at this picture here, right? The C is here, uh, negative 0 0.4, right? So the area to the left of that is 0 0.3446. 0 0.3446 which if I subtract from 1 that would be 0 0.6554 now that's the probability that uh, the length of a tuna is longer than 22.4 inches okay now part B the percentage find the probability that uh, the percentage of Okay, let's see. Percentage of the tuna shorter than k inches is 80%. Find k. The percentage of the tuna, the same random variable we have above, okay, shorter than k inches is 80%. Oh, by the way, the one on the top here, uh, the question is percentage that I'm supposed to make it 65.54%. Okay, this is actually the answer, okay, because they asked for percentage here, right? Now here, the percentage of tuna shorter than this k inches is 80%. Find this k. Now let's uh, standardize this first. This is x minus mu over sigma is less than k minus 24.5 over 5.25 is equals to 0 0.8. Okay, so the probability is 0 0.8. Okay. Now, what is the c-score? If the probability is 0 0.8, notice that because it's 
more than 50%, then the C score must be to the right of zero. This is zero, this is the C, it should be 80% here, right? Okay, now I will look at the table. Uh, the C score are expect is expected to be positive. Let's see, which one will that be? Maybe between these two numbers, right? 0 0.8. Uh, which one is it closer? 0 0.84 or 0 0.85? I think it's 0 0.84, right? Closer to this one, the one on the left hand side here. Okay, so, uh, so I will use then k minus 24.5 over 5.25 will be equals to 0 0.84. Okay, but basically, what is the c score such that the probability? Uh, or the area to the left of that is 0 0.8 like like this here if this is 0 0.8 here if this is 0 0.8 what is this equal to now according to the table that's 0 0.84 okay now our c score which is k minus 24.5 over 5.25 here is that c okay now i will solve for k then uh, K minus 24.5 equals to 0 0.84 times 5.25. Uh, let me see what's that. If I use my calculator, that will be 0 0.84 times 5.25. Okay, that's 44, 4.41. And therefore, the K equals to uh, 4.41 plus 24.5 I think that will give me uh, 28.91 inches okay that's the K that's the K uh, such that we can say the percentage of tuna shorter than 28.91 inches will be 80% okay now that's for part B part C a sample of nine tunas is selected at random what is the probability of that three of them have length more than 22.4 inches now uh, here the question is the probability of three of them of this nine now if you think about that let's define a let uh, let's say a y be the number of tuna uh, having length more than 22.40 inches now this y then i hope you see right away the number of tunas uh, the probability for each tuna to have length more than 22.40 inches has been done in part a that's the probability and this is in decimal okay now if you think about that the number of tuna with this uh, 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 category will be uh, binomially distributed right we have nine tunas and the probability for each one of them to have length more than 22.40 inches is 0 0.6554 okay now this is 0 0.6554 now please think about this this is not asking us the probability of the length is greater than 22.40 we already compute that uh, what happened is if we have nine tunas what is the probability that three of them have that length has length more than 22.40 inches okay now uh, then from there we see that uh, if we define y to be the number of such tuna then the y will be binomial distributed with uh, number of trials is nine Okay, and this is the probability that each tuna to be uh, more than 22.40 inches length in length. Now, the question is probability. What is the probability that this number of tuna with this situation is three? Okay, and then from here I use a uh, calculator. I hope we remember how to do that. That's distribution. And because this is the probability of the uh, number of tuna is 3, it will be binom PDF, okay, 
the parameters are uh, 9 comma 0.6554 that's the probability of each tuna to have length more than 22.40 inches and then the number of successes we need is 3 this give us 0 0.03 Nine, uh, five, nine, so that will be six zero. Okay. Now, if I need to write the uh, the formula uh, without using calculator, this will be um, nine choose three zero point six five five four to the power of three times zero point three four four six to the power of six. Okay, now this number, remember, is the complement of the other one. Now, if you compute that number, you will get this number here. Okay, now this is from uh, Fall 2010, Math 227, Test 2, number 2A, B, C.